Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about our latest project, which is named as Smart Tax Payment Tracking System. It's our database final term project. Uh, in this project, uh, total four members uh, worked, and uh, I, including three, uh, three of my classmates, worked. And our project name is Smart Tax Payment Tracking System. And uh, so let's discuss uh, about the coding and the implementation of our project. Here you can see the, this is our uh, app.py file and uh, this is actually API endpoint uh, uh, on the API endpoint which exists in this file and uh, the, uh, and uh, also uh, that first of all we created the database uh, using SQLite you can see and then we have um, uh, we have done the task of migrating the database and then uh, and then we have created a module uh, called uh, tax payment and including six columns you can see where t id that's mean tax id is the primary key and then uh, this is the api route yeah this is for index page and then uh, this is this route is for fetching the tax records based on the due date that's mean it will show uh, for all due dates and then it can show uh, this project can show the record based on a, a specific due date and then uh, and then this route is for inserting the record and then this is for updating the record and this is for deleting the record this is our index.html page you can see this in this code is for the uh, to create uh, to uh, this is the form uh, in which we can enter a new data new record and then the record display form for this this code and then this is for uh, the uh, total amount and rate of tax and then uh, to show the uh, this and tax due to show this kind of uh, data this is our whole css file codes uh, which we have done for our project this is our JavaScript uh, file. This is for actually to update a record, this, uh, and then this is for uh, this is the function for deleting a record, and this is for uh, it, uh, uh, for uh, showing the due drop uh, the due date drop down menu. We actually we want to get the every four months that's mean january 2023 15 january 2023 15 january april uh, 15 april 2023 uh 15 june 2023 15 september 2023 like this way it will show four dates of a particular year breaking a four months break and then format this is the function for formatting the date formatting uh, the this is the function for updating the data table this is for updating a certain table so the uh, this is uh, the things uh, which uh, we have done and this uh, this is for these uh, two functions are, are, are for uh, calculating uh, the tax calculating the tax uh, based, uh, based on the record you can see and also it will uh, show the tax due so these are the um, our coding so let's uh, apply let's see how it works Let's wait for a while to start. So this is the home page. This means the index page of our project. So let's enter a new record. So let's see if it is exists in the text summary records 
data you can see so we have inserted a, inserted a new record for uh, bank cashier so if i want to now update a certain record how can i update that let's see if uh, you see that let's see the amount is uh, i input all wrong let's see if you eat changes you see oh it was four thousand now it's five thousand let's see for bank asia you can see it's five thousand now so the update function works and then if we want to delete a certain record let's see try belly bank the data we want to delete this record how just click on the here you see the pop-up box it is just uh, confirm and confirm to delete or no okay you see the belly bank is deleted the record for belly bank is deleted okay so we are hearing uh, we are uh, showing you see here if we select a certain record it is showing the data record for all due date uh, let's see for for a particular date let's say 15 january january 23 there is no existing record for this due date let's see for 15th of june there is only one record and for it you uh, uh, so let's see another one 15 June yeah for 15 September due date you can see there are two record so let's see the amount total amount option you can see in this date for this uh, due date uh, two records and total amount is 8000 and the rate of tax let's write 0 0.02 you can see the tax due is shown here okay so that's been our this function is working and let's try to okay so I think that uh, that's how it works uh, if we want to update once again let's see if it works let's give it unpaid it working yes it's working let's try uh, to insert an unpaid record unpaid so as it is unpaid so there, there will be no payment date let's uh, just give uh, due date here you see for bank Hyundai is unpaid no is still no payment date as they had a, they have not paid yet so so this is the project which we worked and uh, this is our this that's all about our uh, smart tax payment tracking system thank you so much for watching